The perfect husband's several men are in the changing room of a golf club. A mobile phone on a bench rings and a man engages the hands-free speaker function and began to talk. Everyone else in the room stops to listen. Man, hello. Woman, darling, it's me. Are you at the club? Man, yes. Woman, I am at the shopping center and found this beautiful leather coat. It's only $1,000. Is it okay if I buy it? Man, sure, go ahead if you like it that much. Woman, I also stopped by the Mercedes dealership and saw the new 2011 models. I saw one I really like. Man, how much? Woman, $70,000. Man, okay, but for that price, I want it with all the options. Woman, great. Oh, and one more thing. The house I wanted last year is back on the market. They're asking $950,000. Man, well, then go ahead and give them an offer of $900,000. They will probably take it. If not, we can go the extra $50,000. It really is a pretty good price. Woman, okay, I'll see you later. I love you so much, man. Bye, I love you too. The man hangs up. The other men in the changing room are staring at him in astonishment, mouths wide open. He smiles and asks, anyone knows who this phone belongs to? Stimulus plan in a small town in the United States. The place looks almost totally deserted. It is tough times. Everybody is in debt and everybody lives on credit. Suddenly, a rich tourist comes to town. He enters the town's only hotel, lays a $100 bill on the reception counter as a deposit, and goes to inspect the rooms upstairs in order to pick one. The hotel proprietor takes the $100 bill and runs to pay his debt to the butcher. The butcher takes the $100 bill and runs to pay his debt to the pig farmer. The pig farmer runs to pay his debt to the supplier of his feed and fuel. The supplier of feed and fuel takes the $100 bill and runs to pay his debt to the town's prostitute that in these hard times gave her services on credit. The hooker runs to the hotel and pays off her debt with the $100 bill to the hotel proprietor to pay for the rooms that she rented when she brought her clients there. The hotel proprietor then lays the $100 bill back on the counter so that the rich tourist will not suspect anything. At that moment, the tourist comes down after inspecting the rooms and takes back his $100 bill, saying that he did not like any of the rooms and leaves town. No one earned anything. However, the whole town is now without debt and looks to the future with a lot of optimism. A woman in three wishes. A woman was out golfing one day when she hit her ball into the woods. She went into the woods to look for it and found a frog in a trap. The frog said to her, if you release me from this trap, I will grant you three wishes. The woman freed the frog and the frog said, thank you, but I failed to mention that there was a condition to your wishes. Whatever you wish for, your husband will get 10 times more or better. The woman said that would be okay, and for her first wish, she wanted to be the most beautiful woman in the world. The frog warned her, you do realize that this wish will also make your husband the most handsome man in the world, an Adonis, that women will flock to. The woman replied, that will be okay, because I will be the most beautiful woman, and he will only have eyes for me. So, KZAM, she's the most beautiful woman in the world. For her second wish, she wanted to be the richest woman in the world. The frog said, that will make your husband the richest man in the world, and he will be 10 times richer than you. The woman said, that will be okay, because what is mine is his, and what is his is mine. So, Kazam, she is the richest woman in the world. The frog then inquired about her third wish, and she answered, I like a mild heart attack. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and have a fantastic day.